Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Singer Dad Reacts. My name is Josh, and I am going to be reacting to a new artist today. Um, I've been seeing a lot of like thumbnails and you know different um, activity around this particular performer, Tomball, um, and on social media and stuff like that. And so, I'm just really curious about the hype of this guy. It seems like there's a lot of hype around him as a singer and performer. And so I'm curious to, to hear him sing. And um, Sound of Silence is compelling. As many of you know, I reacted to the disturbed version of the Sound of Silence, both the music video and the, the live the Conan version. And I love the Pentatonix version of Sound of Silence as well. Um, so with that, I wanted to jump right in here and, and um, do a reaction to Tom Ball here. And for those of you that are new to my channel, the way that I do things is I read the lyrics uh, before I do the reaction just to kind of gain a better understanding of the message of the song and the story uh, and you know what it's trying to bring out or, or communicate. Um, that's part of my reaction. So if you're not interested in that, feel free to skip forward to the reaction. Um, and uh, for those that are interested in the lyrics, uh, of course, Paul Simon was the songwriter. I did a little research on this particular song because I was interested in kind of seeing the history. And Paul Simon talks about kind of writing it in a dark room where he could just kind of, um, you know, gain his perspective and insight um, and kind of be in his own little zone, you know. Um, so that's kind of makes sense. The first words of the song, Hello Darkness, My Old Friend, because he's literally in the dark. He's he's talking to the darkness. Um, so it was really interesting to kind of hear more about this song, kind of the history of it. The version that most people are familiar with, I found out that um, someone involved with the, the record company and that was uh, um, working with him on that ended up adding the percussion and the other stuff to it without even letting him know and then releasing it. And then it rose to the Billboard uh, top spot, I believe. And then that's the, the version that, that went forward from there um, was this version that uh, was doctored and, and added stuff was added to it without even letting Paul Simon know. It's fairly interesting. Um, yeah, so it, it really played a prominent part in the start of Paul Simon's career from what I read. Um, and kind of was like this highlight or um, central kind of point for his success and, and uh, you know, uh, part of his albums going forward. Um, so really cool. Uh, the lyrics are, Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. I've come to talk with you again because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence. In restless dreams, I walked alone, narrow streets of cobblestone, neath the halo of a street lamp. I turned my collar to the cold and damp. When my eyes were stabbed by the flash of a neon light, split the night and touched the sound of silence and in the naked light i saw ten thousand people maybe more people talking without speaking people hearing without listening people writing songs that voices never shared and no one dared disturb the sound of silence fool said i you do not know silence like a cancer grows hear my words that i might teach you take my arms that i might reach you but my words, like silent raindrops, fell and echoed in the wells of silence. And the people bowed and prayed to the neon god they made. And the sign flashed out its warning in the words that it was forming. Then the sign said the words on the prophets are written on the subway walls in tenement halls and whispered in the sound of silence. So I remember kind of going through the lyrics for my disturbed reaction and trying to really dig in and better understand and getting a lot of really insightful comments from a lot of you. 
And I definitely feel like I agree with some of you as far as kind of this whole communication aspect in um, the lyrics are actually relevant for our day because a lot of people are like on their phones and their electronic devices and not really engaging and connecting with people around them and uh, communicating like like um, we've done in the past um, establishing strong friendships things like that so um, I think the silence is kind of caused by technology in a lot of ways and contributed to at least um, but a lot of it the way I look at it, a lot of it is just our choices, right? Do we limit ourselves as far as the time we spend, you know, on our electronic devices? And do we intentionally kind of set it aside and go and participate in activities where we connect with people and, you know, be involved with things like music? I think music is a part of that. I still feel that way, um, you know, from what I said in my first reaction to the disturbed music video I still feel like music is and that's a premise to my channel right music can light the world music can bring us all together it's a universal language um, and it's a way for us to connect so it's kind of a way in, in a way it's kind of a, a healing mechanism for the cancer that that grows in our society and so with that um, I'm going to jump right into my reaction here. And for those of you that are new or haven't already at this point, if you could please um, click on the subscribe, click on the little notification bell there to be notified of any of my new reactions coming. Um, I'm starting to try and ramp up and, and get more reactions released and uh, have less time between. My goal is at some point to have kind of this system in place where I can, you know, release uh, around at least one or two reactions a week. So um, definitely put in the comments, you know, reactions you'd like for me to focus on and add to the list of those that I'm queuing up for those releases. Um, I appreciate your support. Here we go. Tom Ball. I'm Tom Ball, I'm 24, and I'm a secondary school teacher, or, or I suppose in America you call it high school. I have always wanted to be a singer, but I decided it's to cool become that a, teacher, he's a teacher, something I was really passionate about. It's awesome. A lot of your job is trying to inspire kids to really kind of give them a good role model. And so going on to Britain's Got Talent was an opportunity oh, to that's right, yeah, he was on Britain's Got Talent. I'm here with my fiance and my dad. Yeah. The kids don't know I'm here. <laughs> Are you serious? That's cool. Yeah, I wanted it to be a surprise. And God, what if it goes badly? I'm not going to lie, at that moment, I hadn't even thought about that. And then suddenly, my life kind of flashed before my eyes. I think you've got about 4,000 yeses. <laughs> Walking into school straight That's after awesome. the audition was the craziest day. Look, I suddenly became the most oh, popular cool. teacher at school. Uh, you've definitely given yourself a shot after that, and I think we will be seeing you in the final. It seemed that I, there was a chance that I might win. The winner is... So did you win? No, Axel did. Axel Blake! Axel Blake, uh, the comedian, won Britain's Got Talent. And so being here was my second chance. I want to win this. Going up against winners, I think, it is nerve-wracking, of course, but it does push me further. You know, it makes me want to, to win it as well. <laughs> I want to do this for me, for my fiance Hannah. You know, we get married in five days. I, I, when you are about to get married in five, five days, days yeah. and you're here. <laughs> yeah. The reason I wanted to come awesome. to America's Got Talent All Stars is another opportunity to inspire, to to show my students that I've achieved this dream, but I can reach higher heights. I would really, really love to win. I really would. It would be an honor. Let's go, buddy. Thank you, Tom. All good. Let's go. Ah. You can be PC. Your dress is really sharp. Hello. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna pause it just because I know like all the copyright stuff.
Um, it just helps with that so that hopefully the video doesn't get blocked. Um, I just have to say that I have a lot of respect for this guy. That's actually the track that I was on. So before I got into high tech, I was studying to be a teacher, a high school teacher. Uh, I was going to teach choir in English and, um, I still would like to go back someday and, and, uh, and teach. I really enjoy that and trying to make a difference in the lives of the youth and stuff like that is, is awesome. So I, I have a, the utmost respect for, for anyone that, um, devotes their life to teaching and, um, helping our young people. Uh, my wife teaches sixth grade and, um, directs the high school musicals and stuff like that. And, um, so I get a chance to interact with, with kids of various ages through that. And also through my church and with the younger, the young boys and stuff in my church. But yeah, so this guy just looks really wholesome and I'm excited to hear him sing here. Hello, Hello Simon. Nice to see you again. So Tom, oh, actually no, Tom, introduce yourself to Heidi and Howie and everyone else here, please. Um, my name's Tom Ball. I'm 24 years old. I'm a secondary school teacher. I went on Britain's Got Talent. I had a most amazing time. Thank you very much. <laughs> a lot of people thought Tom was going to win, and he didn't. It's my first time in LA. I can win this one. Is it your first time in America? First time in America, yeah. Wow. I haven't actually seen any of the sites yet. I'm, I'm tomorrow. My plan is to go see the Hollywood sign, go see the Hollywood Walk of Fame, see your name there, Simon. Uh, my, my, name's <laughs> are, my name's also on Well, I'll, I'll make sure I see it. I'll Yours is on the side street. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find it. How he's always doing that. Good luck. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, he's nervous, yeah. The is lovable. Yeah. Did they love him? Did they, what do you think? UK, yes. 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 Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you. Softly creeping. Very lyrical sound. It seems while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence. And in the naked light I saw Ten thousand people, maybe more People talking without speaking People hearing without listening People writing songs that voice That's a cool twist. I like what he did there because he mixed it up where he took like kind of a lower version of that phrase before and then so that you weren't thinking, oh, he took the lower version of that phrase because he didn't want to sing high he then toward the end of the phrase changed it up and made him made it go higher so that's that's smart to do that for for that reason but also just to make it your own and and change it up and and make it unique and kind of um it reminds me of kind of what angelina jordan did with bohemian rhapsody where she kind of she changed it up. Every, the melody was the same, but she made it her own. And, and so that's always a great idea to, to really kind of put your own stamp on it like he's doing. And his voice is, his tone is really um, velvety. 
it's the word that comes to mind, really lyrical. That's kind of this lighter, um, what's well, a good word to describe it? It's like a smooth, pleasant, um, light kind of tone, basically, uh, when you, when you hear someone say lyrical, um, he, he can definitely sing and, um, he's got a good resonance and the, and the high notes are solid. Yeah. He's, he's really good. Go back here. You hear that? Key change, really. He's got a range. I love what he did there and kind of, and that's a key part of storytelling. And you hear other vocal coaches and reactors kind of talk about that, but it's very true. And that is kind of this, you know, build, build, build climax, and then come back down and then, you know, communicate the, the strength of your story and the end of the song with this kind of the softer tone. And he did that. And what makes what he just did hard is, when you're kind of in the higher part of your range and you have to like sing soft, that's actually really hard. It's easier to sing the high notes in the higher part of your range loud and just put a lot of air behind it. But to actually maintain control and resonance and, and you know, good tone and all of that and stay on pitch and everything with a softer sound, that's that's hard. In a lot of ways, you actually need more air because you're trying to kind of, you know, scale it back and, and make it a softer sound. Um, yeah, he's, he is good. I want to hear that last part again real quick. See how resonant that is? It's just right on pitch. Yes. Wow, Simon stood. That's unusual. He doesn't get many standing ovations. Wow. Yeah, he's awesome. I'm actually angry about something. <laughs> I wish this was the first time I'd ever heard Tom in a weird way. You're right. Susan Boyle's grandson. Because what you do is not what we expect. For me, this is the best performance I've seen all series. It's surprising in so many ways. You're only 24 years old, and Simon and Garfunkel are a lot older than that. But <laughs> you do it so right. It really was. You're really amazing. Thank you. It was outstanding. It was larger than life. I mean, you have all the. You can hit all the notes. You have the pipes for it. I thought it was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Tom. This is the song, if you'd have done this, I believe you would have won the show that year. That Thank was you. Incredible. Wow. Thank you. That's saying something. Whose turn is it? 
Is it Terry's buzzer? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's awesome. He's awesome. He's great. You know, and the, the thing is, he Simon mentioned Susan Boyle, and I was one that I, I love that story and how she was discovered and how everybody just kind of, you know, looked at her and judged her and said, oh, you know, she's not going to be good. And, and then she just blew their socks off. And I, I can see where he, you know, is making the comparisons there. There have been a few like that. Um, I love watching those stories. What was the other guy's name? Oh, Paul Potts. Paul Potts was another one that um, from Britain's Got Talent. So same thing. He was like a, he sold mobile phones or something like that. And then he went up there and sang Nessun Dorma and just brought it big time. And, uh, saying it really well and they were just blown away so and what makes it that much better with tom is that he's just a great guy you know it's he's just a humble guy you know a teacher you can tell he like puts his heart into his teaching his kids love him you could tell just from their reaction when they showed him with his class um so you 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 want for a guy like that to just you know, be able to accomplish their dreams. Uh, and that's something that I say at the end of my reactions. You know, I say you can accomplish your dreams. And this is the guy that's making that happen. So all the best to him. I look forward to seeing more performances from Tom. So if you could give me your feedback on, you know, what performances I should watch of, of Tom. And, um, you know, I look forward to kind of seeing what happens. I, I haven't... I used to watch America's Got Talent a lot, but now since I'm doing reactions, I don't, I kind of steer away from it because I want to be able to kind of do my reactions of some of the performances, if that's something that you all request. So I'm very curious now to see kind of how this season plays out and how well he does. And I'm just rooting for him, you know, because of who he is and the amazing talent that he has. Um, yeah, so beautiful voice, beautiful rendition. I like how he made it his own. Um, and he had kind of the instrumentalist there to kind of add, you know, different texture to it. Yeah, just a great overall performance. Um, so I'm going to cut it short, not make this one too long. Um, but again, thank you all for your support of my channel. I, I love doing this. Um, it's been kind of crazy lately and um, haven't been able to do as many reactions as I would like to. So hoping to be able to change that going forward. I'm going to record a, another one at least tonight, if not a, a, another two. And then I'll have them queued up and then I can just go in, do the editing and then post them later on this week. So uh, that's my plan is to kind of do a couple in a row and then um, have those queued up so I don't have to do it individually each time um but anyway i'll close my reaction as i do with all my reactions 
by reaching out across the world to each of you to let you know that you need to know that you are special, you are loved, and you can accomplish your dreams. And I hope that you know that and that you can find inspiration through the music that we experience together here and that you have people around you that are supporting you and and uh, encouraging you and and that bring you happiness so again thank you for your support and take care